Imagine you were in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, trapped with horrifying curses, cursed powers which grant players abilities, and bloodthirsty players hunting each other down. Will I survive this SMP with just my one life? Well, in the next few days, that'll be put to the test. Starting from day one, within this back alley I spawned in front of. They chased me into the alleyway nearby and thought it would be best if I lost them in there. But this wasn't any normal alleyway. It was filled with grade 3 curses. The lower the numbered grade, the stronger these curses actually are. These things were overpowered, especially at the beginning of the event. The person chasing me was a curse themselves. Upon joining the server, we got to choose between sorcerer, which kills off curses, or curse, which hunts sorcerers down, marking Noski as something I have to defeat at some point because he was a curse. But for now, we decided to dip from the alleyway into an abandoned city, which we used to oh, lose I him. I think if we just find a quick spot, we can probably sleep because I'm sure the other players are like trying to sleep right now too. That's. Be careful. Be careful. Let's try killing this thing. Oh, I'm kind of low actually. Okay, there we go. Him. During this, I ended up with Lillian, who got lucky with Gojo's abilities, who was the strongest sorcerer in the JJK verse. But as for me, I was Yuta, the GOAT, the original main character of the show. But to put it simple, I had two abilities. One was to summon Rika, who was his attached girlfriend. He can summon at any time within a call's notice. The second ability is where it got interesting, and it kind of made me unstoppable. The ability to copy abilities. So let me copy Lillian's two most powerful Powerful moves, hollow red and hollow purple. While exploring this huge city, I found a little area and decided to make a camp out of it. But just as I was going to settle down and get some sleep, God knows I need that thing. I couldn't. Great. Now what will I do? Noticing someone outside, I walked out and found Ghetto. He has the ability to summon curses at his will to do his bidding, and was also an S rank sorcerer. I didn't want to get on his bad side. Days two to five. After trying to sneak away, we checked out what what else the city had to offer when we encountered some unwanted company. Oh, I thought I saw an elephant. Yeah, that was kind of scary. I see a player name. Be careful. I'm random. She don't even got armor. What is that noise? Are you gonna blast her? Okay, yeah, maybe blast her. Try blast her. Okay, I'll try. I try. Wait, which one? Which one? Should which I one? Use, uh, There's two. Blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do blue. Wait, blue will blue will hit me too. I think she's coming this way. Ow, ow. <laughs> Yo, are you friendly? Hey, guys. Hey. Are you friendly? Are you friendly or do we gotta fight? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, what the? Are what's you? Wrong? What is that? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> do you need help? Um, yes. You know what? All right, all right. I'm gonna use Rika. He missed. Bro. Hey guys. You don't have a team? Huh? Sure. What do you mean sure? I'm I'm a, I'm uh I was heading towards a place. Uh-huh. <laughs> alone. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, we could we can see you, that you're alone. I can't do much, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, so what what character are you? I'm Utahime, but, but? I have Megumi's inside of me. As in, oh. I, I am him. <laughs> not him. No, 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 I am him. I am him. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen. Um. Not in that way, okay? I, I see. <laughs> Luckily for us, it's someone I've teamed with in the past before, Gina. Though she's a little bit odd at times, she was trustworthy. But that's when I found something interesting. There was a shrine with graves and even grade 3 skeletons. Now I know for sure I would get one tap by those things. Although there were some strong entities that lived here, there was one grade 1 spirit. You got this. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, no need for this. <laughs> you good? Oh god, it's My fast. It's fast. Okay. All right, I got this. I got this. Ready? With this treasure I summon Rika. Yeah. That wow. worked. That actually like one tapped him. That was sick. Which I killed with Rika. At least I could kill something. This thing did a number to my confidence. I also found Nanami there too, and he wanted the smoke, so I gave it to him. Sorry, I just combed it really quickly. 
<laughs> see. I'm gonna use Rika, screw it. And she's gone, she's gone! I don't have curse curse energy for this. Good place. Oh, it's like a little house. Get this food. Actually, wait, I don't really need food, do I? It's a coal. Yeah, we can just stay in oh, here. There's a chest up here. Oh, like diamonds and stuff. I got diamonds. All right, let's uh, let's sleep. Let's sleep through the night. Okay, so I think in general we need to get stronger. We're kind of getting clapped like a lot. What? I don't know about you. I'm doing pretty good. I saw this area behind the the spawn. I think we should go over there. There might be like a a curse there. Hopefully special grade. I don't know if we can take that on. But there's three of us, so you know it's like compound interest in that, two, you know. Three is a strong one. <laughs> like two and a half. I got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to summon literally anything else. So. Oh, you press R to rotate. Just don't emote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, well. Okay. What the hell is Zonba? Oh, that's what that is. And then this is collapse. Whoa, I have Nanami's attack. Not only this, but I jacked that boy's strongest ability as well. With us being in the clear, we went back to the alleyway seeing as there was a structure behind it. It was a sewer system, but if there was anything in here, most of it was long gone by now. Probably the work of the curse's team. Gina took the time to figure out her abilities. She ended up getting the character Megumi, which has summons he can spawn at his will. But in order to control them, she has to tame them. And even if her life depended on it, God knows how that will go. As you can see, this was a whole Hopeless cause. What did I? <laughs> Maharaja? <laughs> As you can see, um, they don't like you very much. Oh, oh. Okay. How do I do it? Love me. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta sit on it. How? Okay, this is not the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what am I supposed to do? Um, yeah, that, that's all I got. That's my only idea. What about this one? You got any ideas, oh Lillian? Oh my god. Oh. Uh, but you can sit on the frog, yeah, look. See? Okay. <gasps> <laughs> They're beeping with their own curses. All right, let's get, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Okay, you're right. You're right. All right, I'm gonna use <laughs> I'm gonna use red. So I think we should go behind this thing. Oh, be careful! <laughs> you kind of ran into that. <laughs> <laughs> why? Literally, why? <laughs> Come on. This place. Remember, this I don't is the know. Anime. If there's any curses in here. What? Look around a bit. We started to kill off some curses. The more we kill, the stronger we become. Especially if we wanted to get strong enough to fight off the curse team in the first place. That's when a bull came out of nowhere and was trying to chop my head off. Dude, it's only day four, man. Why am I getting thrown these stupidly strong curses? Still being beaten by the bull. Ow! I blasted it, okay. It should have taken a lot of damage. Ow, ow! Oh, hell no. Nah. Okay, okay, relax. Relax. I'm crashing out. Okay. Please, please, please. Why am I getting chased by both of them? Am I good? They're in water. Holy. Can I get on top of here? Ow! Dude. Alright, I get it. I get it. I get it! You want me dead? Okay. I got Rika. Where are you? Get over here! And I'm out. What I need is my speed attack. 
Yup. Yup. Okay. Maybe if I go back to my team, they can help me. After that, I met back up with the two. You got me dead. God. <laughs> Do I need to feed it like meat or something? You have a worm. You gotta sit on it. What do you mean, sit? <laughs> what? I tried and all it does is howl. <laughs> Hold on. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh. Where did you go? Watch Gina get kidnapped by her own bird summon, flung way into the air, and slept the night away, nice and cozy. Where, where are you going? Oh. So no birds allowed. <laughs> I, dude, I thought you were just gone in the atmosphere. <laughs> do you do you see what I had to deal with in the last JJK sim? <laughs> And then there was so, I'm not even kidding. There was so many comments going like, oh my God, I can't believe he gave up Megami to be, to be Kocho. And I'm like, dude, please, bro. They don't get it, bro. Messing around with my animals We lost Lillian. Messing around the zoo in my I think the curses might have taken her. Well... <laughs> I got it. I got it. Rika! Yeah, get that centipede. I can't summon Rika so for useful. more than. Huh? Oh, that's so useful. Yeah. She's like my deceased, like, girlfriend in the show. Did you just put her in your pocket? Yup. <laughs> summon her whenever you want. Wow. Yeah, look, look, look. It's really useful. Look. You see? Wait, you, you shouldn't stand in front of me. Yeah. You see those doors? Let's say I need the doors open. Rika! <laughs> Okay, well, it affected everything but the doors. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the point. Yeah. Oh. It's, um, it's what's oh, her face? Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she had beef with us. I think she's ha Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Wait, she, this one's friendly. Yeah, this one's friendly. Oh. Well. <laughs> All right, let's, let's oh, head to school, y'all. Let's head to school. Y'all, y'all clearly need some education, so we can Nuh. we can educate. No. <laughs> On this SMP, there was a Jujitsu High, which is school for sorcerers who want to get stronger fast. So we knew where we needed to go. Since we all love standardized testing, we were really ecstatic to go there. Right when we thought we were safe, the Curses team found us again. It was more than just Noski this time. Oh my god, wait. What's happening? Hell just happened? I just got a suit and a finger. Can I eat this? I don't powerful. Okay, I'm gonna save this for later. Yo, wait, wait, we're being chased. What the hell is that? That's an NPC. Oh my god! They're so powerful. I can't use my ability in the water. This is bad. Yo! Oh, this is bad. Okay. Hey guys. Yo! Leave us alone! <laughs> what do we do to we don't you? We have any money! Oh my god. Okay, the other one's like far back, so if we could just get to some land. Oh, I see them. I'm gonna hit him with red. I hit him with red! Go, 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 go! Nice, nice! Alright, you keep running, you keep running, try losing them. I'm gonna hit him with something. Hey, Noski! Okay. okay, okay, I'm out of here. No! They're far, they're far, they're far, I can lose them. I really hope she ran. Back at spawn? It looks like spawn. What is this? 
In the ambush, we lost Gina. Unsure if she was okay or got captured, we had to put ourselves first. All right, man. Me and Lillian escaped them. I realized they gave me one of their abilities since I had the copy ability. My limit was five moves at a time, but don't mind if I take one of theirs. On our search for Gina, we ended up at Jujutsu High School, but there was quite a bit of chaos going on in front of it, which included Toji, who in the show was known as the Sorcerer Killer. Yeah. Wary of being caught up in the crossfire, we tried sneaking by, but ended up getting attacked. But also realized Gina was at the school before us. Reunion aside, we fled to a nearby house there to survive the mess of a fight outside. These two were even more worried since Toji has a history of assassinating high school minors. Crazy pastime. But after the night passed, we went to explore the school, finding Gojo. Gojo here gives us quests, which if we complete, we get to become stronger. It was a no brainer. Why wouldn't we want this? We were given a Stevenson box as a reward to finding the place, which rewarded me Yuta's blade. Our first quest given to us by Gojo was to kill a curse named Mahito with a set of coordinates as to where to find him. So on our way out, we ran by a broken portal and also ended up finding Inumaki, who I killed to steal his curse speech technique. I had to do it, okay? It lets me tweak out like a 12 year old on Xbox parties against my ops. Like, come on. And at last, we made it to the coordinates, which was a high school that seemed recently abandoned. Looking around, we found these weird human like creatures that seemed transmutated, trying to put them out of their misery, we blasted them away. Hollow purpling, the school creating a crater that Lillian fell into like a klutz. But right when there was Mahito ready to kill us off, Mahito was known in the show as a cursed spirit who toys with humans, little weirdo, and thinks humans should be wiped out of existence with cursed spirits ruling the world. So leaping down, we gave it our all. I was so close to dying, I had to squirm around for a little bit. I can make him explode, wait. Where is he? Come on, fans. You got this, buddy. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's in there. okay. okay. Ow. Come on, Rika. Come on, Rika. I missed. He's so fast. Where are you even trying to hit anymore? Why is he so fast? Wait, this isn't even. That's that, that's that weird girl. Where's Mahito? Are we dumb? Oh my God, what did we just kill? We killed him, we killed Mahito. Yes. All right, let's get out of here. After a while, we killed off Mahito once and for all. Days five to 10, finally. We managed to regroup at JJK High just to get hit with a witch style jutsu, but we handled it. Gave in the quest, leveling us up a bit and taking on the next quest. This had us going into the boonies, uncovering a windmill that's said to be infested with cursed spirits. After blasting them out of existence, we once again ran into Hanami. I guess in this case, he was a part of the quest that we needed to clear this place out. So we ended up fighting him. Once again, we get chased by the cursed Oh team. guys, I see a player. Explode! It's kind of hard to stay clear of them because they have way too many quests nearby. But what we didn't account for was for our crash out of a Megumi, Gina. She ended up summoning Maharaga without taming him. You idiot. Maharaga was one of the strongest cursed spirits ever. And Megumi to this day in the show still cannot control him. Why would you summon him? We had to escape running into the red cursed spirit. But eventually, we finally got to a safe place and headed to sleep. Then back to Jujutsu High School to cash in our quest. We left Gina in charge of getting us back there though. And she led us to Shibuya. How in the hell did we get to Shibuya? Somehow, we ended up there. I don't know why we let her leave. But while we were here, we went sightseeing. Finding music in one of the shops. Yeah, we got a little bit distracted. I'll admit it. But with our lack of keeping tabs on our surroundings, a cursed spirit horde ended up finding us. We fought it off, but Lillian during this fight wanted to get stronger without putting in the work for it, leading her to eat one of Sukuna's fingers. That's... That's canon. I... That is the most outrageous way... You know, I thought your Hunter Hunter death was crazy, but... This? We're like 10 days in? He eats a finger and offs yourself. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god, I accidentally killed him! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now, for you guys that know, you know how deadly this could be. But for those that don't, there's only a few select people that can eat it without dying. This finger is made for curses. And she ate it. She got herself killed. We lost our strongest sorcerer on the team. On the bright side, I was able to get her abilities before she left. But it did end up making us a team of two. Realizing just how hopeless us making it to day 100 was going to be in this difficult mod pack, let alone surviving this SMP against the cursed team, we fled back to Jujitsu High, cast in the windmill quest, and Gina was fed up with the curse's team for killing Lillian off. Kinda. She wanted to take revenge. We lost Lillian to an item meant for them. So, here, I've, I've got a plan. Okay, let's hear it. So, why don't I try to look for, like, a curse base while you try to build, like, the base base? Okay, so you... I'm kind of useless right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go do something. Oh, yeah, go for it. Let me know if you find it. Just send me the coordinates. I'll try finding... Okay. A place that isn't too infested with things. Mm, good luck. I'm gonna need it. Yep, peace. Bye. So she went out to locate the curse's base, while I was in charge of making our team a home. Days 15 to 20. With all the fighting we've done so far, we wanted a place to just call our home. So that's what we did. I began to explore into the woods to find a village, but right next to it, a graveyard. A perfect place to make a base. Ours. I realized I didn't have the right tools for this. We needed some serious survival Minecraft upgrades. So utilizing my hollow purple I copied from Lillian while she was still alive and living and breathing with us i began mining that you've never seen gameplay of hollow purple mining ever so feast your eyes because this is probably the one and only time you're gonna see it this made it quite easy to get myself some diamonds i've also been doing a lot of these anime sibs so far and you guys seem to really enjoy them as does the people that play with me so if you guys ever want to join any of these events that i host or recordings just join my discord server it's in the description you can also make some cool friends on there and see me there crashing out every once in a while i had to back up made some diamond tools flatten out the area and began working on a blueprint after the blueprint i started working on the walls and built up the first portion of the base i wanted four parts to it i also needed a few more blocks that i just stole from other structures and before i knew it i made ourselves a home to live in y'all tell me i'm not a w teammate bro i moved the stuff from outside the base into my base and my other teammate that didn't have time to hop on at the start ended up showing up i showed her around the base and told her what happened to lillian but luck was on our side for once in one of these challenges she got lucky and got gojo's abilities she got a gojo replacement but if we did have lillian we would have had two gojos on our side and probably made us unstoppable so yeah regardless the reason she was stressing was because the cursed team was hunting her down so to avoid them we had to flee the base and went exploring days 20 to 30 we uncovered a hospital which had a ton of cursed spirits inside well there's so many creepers best all right what the hell books so much paper yeah maybe we can make like bookshelves would be so useless bruh <laughs> like <laughs> this mod there's more up here where okay there's a couple books is it just books fish Rotten flesh, flowers, wait what? Found something over here, I think you want to see. Over yeah. here. I'm looking at these chests, they are so loaded. Oh my gosh, a totem? Yeah! That's kind of crazy so good and i think you should have it since you're a lot stronger than me yeah you're so right hey <laughs> <laughs> that was a mob oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> we're getting jumped <laughs> we're getting jumped <laughs> jesus oh my god oh my god i'm blasting him mm. that's the mob okay i ran out i ran out of curse power you 
but this also led us to finding a golden apple and a totem of undying this was gonna help us out big time and now we knew hospitals were goaded for loot headed back to gojo we wanted to do another quest so we wouldn't be so damn he ended up giving us a boss fight ghetto he's the guy me and lillian ran into back in the rundown city i guess now we have to face him face to face so with as much confidence as a fly smacking into a window thinking it was the outside world we went on the hunt healed up i'm ready okay let's go okay you know the plan yes let's go blue following your lead let's go we found him but one wrong move and i get transfigured wait hello gato that means he got away we didn't kill him oh oh god jesus okay we need to fight this I don't, you need to get the levels actually do you want to fight it i think you got it yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna blue them you ready yep oh you blew us too he's just really mad yeah might need to fight him too At this rate at me ghetto ready this time Jeez. did i get him uh, i think so at last we defeated ghetto we think we're not sure where his dead body is or was you know we're not we're not meant for this type of work that's when we headed back to Gojo, got our rewards, and went back out there following some coordinates to an abandoned railway. It didn't seem abandoned to me though, but we were after Toji, the sorcerer hunter. In the show, Gojo took care of him, but I guess in this SMP of ours, we gotta take care of him. We're doing the dirty work, okay? In the middle of the tracks, we encounter a cursed spirit. It wasn't Toji, but it was Jogo, which honestly, danger-wise, was pretty rough for us. Jogo almost killed us off, so we had to back up a bit and came up with a plan. Rasby was gonna use her blue to lure him in while i use my hollow purple to blast him into the stratosphere it was foolproof but he disappeared where did he go i don't know we ran after him which led us into the dorms but he was long gone i found jogo again oh my god is he back oh my god yeah all right you know the plan it's the same plan okay i'll try rika oh I... he's escaping oh. careful don't let him go oh we got some help we got some help I'm on cooldown. Now nah, we're not letting you lose, buddy. Oh. Rasby? Rasby? This is bad. We're in his domain. We are in his domain. Oh. What just happened? Okay. I think you're I think you're strong enough now. Do you Okay, next time he does that domain, you use your domain. And try canceling okay, okay, his, okay? Okay. Don't tell me. Is that... Is that Suki no... Oh my god. Oh my god. Luckily, we ran into Jogo's cursed energy dry and killed Jogo off. The cursed spirits we ended up alarming in the area due to this was also Sukuna, which entered the fight almost clapping us immediately as the king of curse. So with the horde we use as a distraction, I hollow purple the hole into this gated community and got out of there. There were a few weaker curses that we took care of that tried to stop us, but with that taken care of, we headed back home to store some of the stuff and take a break. What I came back to was a whole nother issue. My base? It was attacked. And from the looks of it, it looks like it was work done not by mobs, but by players on the SMP. The only person that I could really come to was Noski, because that's one of the main curses I do know. Meaning Rasby really was followed here. So he took some time to repair the base's floors, 
walls with makeshift locks. I know it looks ugly, but I was not going to do another two hour build session just for someone to ram into it like a bull. Okay, please. With that, we hopped off for the day. We made a lot of progress. Days 30 to 40. I hopped back onto the SMP to see that my base was demolished. My only guess to who could have done this was Sukuna. Seeing as it was spherical, I assumed it was the work of his domain expansion. In the show, he uses Malevolent Shrine, which eradicates anything nearby, including people, creatures, land, and structures. That was my guess on what happened here. And the person on this SMP with Sukuna's power that I knew was Nosk. I fled the area to try to figure out where I could make a new base, even if it was just a place to put my chest in. A world event that I missed was the extension of the world border, even further out. So I discovered some new snowy lands that no one's been to and found a McDonald's there that I settled in with, making it my new base. I knew this wouldn't be a one-time thing. So I had to make my base explosion proof, curse proof, and domain expansion proof. My only thought was let's take a note back from the 2016 faction days. So I went mining, got the blocks that I needed, and encased my base like no other in this day and age with obsidian. I know it's not the prettiest, but it works. It's efficient. It has personality, okay? Not just about size. I put a bunch of trees around the place to make it look nice, snug, and hidden too. In the meantime, I also trapped a curse in a test tube. Gave him the name Alfonso. Thought he was a little annoying though he kept hitting me through the obsidian alfonso was also the reason a fellow sorcerer found out where i lived holy doxer it was tame who's someone i've teamed with in a few of my previous videos it didn't take too long to know that he meant no harm oh. he's making a lot of noises you gotta kill him bro. i know I've, i was actually thinking about it oh oh you got it though right you can do it for me no I, I, you got that oh just kill him, alright? I'll, I'll be back when you kill him. He's dead. How'd you... Alright. Oh, what are you doing at my house, bro? Nothing. I mean, low-key, I was just kind of just exploring. But... Um, you got a team? You got, you got you got friends? Nah. I, I, I don't. Yeah, you don't seem like the type, but that's okay. You want a team? Yeah, yeah, sure. I guess if you want to. Alright, my low key my teammates have been disappearing, bruh. Every time I make a teammate, they either die or like they just disappear. So Wait, tell me what happened. What? I don't know. I wish I knew. If I knew what happened, I would have told you. Who was your old teammate then? Uh my first early early teammates were Gina and then my second teammate was Rasby. There was another one, but they died by eating a soup in a finger. Yeah. That's really tough. So wait, you made like you made this base or what? What's up? I did, bro. You like it? Yeah, look, yeah, I actually do like it. You got it's a McDonald's. Oh. Well, can I take some of the milk though? Right here. Man, you fiend. Sure, you can take it. All right. Thank you. All right. So. Anyways, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? I got a lot. I got a lot planned. But like, what are? What is your character? Like a I mean, axe murder? What? Yeah, an axe murderer, basically, yeah. What the hell? What character is that? Yeah. Mei Mei. Oh, you're Mei Mei. Yeah, yeah. You know who Mei Mei is in the show? Yeah. He ended up being Mei Mei, which had the ability to pummel people with birds, kind of like Itachi, but a little different. Funny enough, we ran into actual Mei Mei doing so. Mei Mei ended up killing her off. You psychopath. Afterwards, we found a huge cursed spirit den, and a squid ended up capturing me. Same helped me escape it though, after begging him. He was actually pretty useful, so I took him along with me to do this Toji fight. But right when we located Toji, there ended up being three of them. Why is there three of them? It was hard enough with one. Where is he? And that one? Oh, we'll blast him. Okay. Oh, we gotta focus one. We gotta oh, focus one. Get this two. one. We got him. Nice. So we managed to kill one off and the other one, but the third one was a bit overkill. We only needed to kill one per person, but we left him be and fled the scene to hand in the quest. Entering the school, we ended up finding another sorcerer named Bareem, who had a plan to kill off the cursed team. Ah, hey, Mei nah, look. Okay, I'll, oh. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Yo. Adrian, 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 Adrian,
Why'd you wake me up? I was having a good nap. I didn't see. I didn't like wake you up. I didn't do that. That, that was not oh, you me. Didn't? So, no, you didn't? Are you a sorcerer? What the yes. heck? Yes. Okay, what character do you have? Every oh, wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Are you. Oh! Oh! Miss input, miss input, miss input, miss input, miss input. Easy. Oh, Easy. Oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, we should... What is happening? Yeah, I think he's kind of strong. What you got going on? I don't know. Oh, I want to attack the curses. I forgot about this. Oh, the I've curse been team. Scheming after I was streaming my nap. Uh -huh. Yes, they assaulted me earlier and hurt my feelings. Yeah, they like jump every they said, sorcerer they find. They said it. And they said yuck, get away and hurt my feelings. I was like, feelings. <laughs> and then I started to train and practice and hone my technique. Mm -hmm. technique. Uh -huh. And now, when I clap, either my hands or any part of my body, I teleport. Oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm Yuta. That's the character I'm playing. And this is uh, uh, Uta Him. What? I think we oh, should yeah, run. Turn around. Why? Ooh. Oh, what the? Oh, oh yeah, okay. Go back, go back, go back. Yep. 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 That's crazy. We accept helping him out, killing off the cursed team, since they were nothing but a nuisance to us since the very beginning. I headed home after this, and wanted to catch up on some of the quests he didn't do with me, so we parted ways for a bit. Days 40 to 50. I took this time out to do something a little more vanilla Minecraft, but still necessary. Gojo gave me a side quest of killing off the Ender Dragon and the Wither for some free levels, so I made a nether portal and entered the nether. The first structure I found was a nether castle, farmed up some of the blazes, getting blaze rods. But with me being there for an extended period of time, the cursed spirits nearby realized, trying to jump me. This was no ordinary horde though. It was planned. And before I knew it, I was getting ambushed. It was by the cursed user team. They saw the achievements of us going into the nether and tracked us down. I was hunted by them, barely able to hold my own. I could use... What can I use? What can I use? What can I use? For speech. <laughs> it works. <laughs> no. Rika. No. I'm on cooldown. I'm on cooldown. I'm on cooldown. I'm on cooldown. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Rika! Yo. Yo. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> no! 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 Mookie, baby. Good? Good. Good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Let's go this way and do this. And I'm up. Woo! Got away from them. Did I? I did, okay. Fish. Oh. Well. Okay. They should still be down here. So if I just hollow purple them. Ow. Okay. Is hollow purple? Ow. Oh no! I got him in the water, I got him in the water. That was a crazy attack. Hey, you know what I can do though? Get rid of this. I escaped the shark! Can't get me with the shark! Mm -hmm. 
What are you gonna do? Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, what you need now, buddy? Oh my god. You have a domain? No, please. Wait. Wait, no. No, no. Wait, does that mean? No. Uh, okay, okay. Two of us can play that! And to make things even worse, Milk used his domain expansion, which was a tropical world with sea creatures out to kill me. Somehow, I managed to last there due to the lack of cursed energy that he had. But not too long later, Noski used his domain expansion. Malevolent Shrine. That was a problem. The only reason I managed to escape its clutch is because of my speed dash attack. Other than that, I really couldn't move. With the distance I made on them, I headed to the other item that I needed, Ender Pearls. So to do so, I found myself a Bastion. I got myself some gold blocks from this, traded it with piglins, not only my pearls, but also some arrows. And as I was getting ready to leave, I ran into these guys again we, got... we have to find our way through wait look there's blocks here oh. yo oh, wait, 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 wait 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 what okay before you use that's it And get to me. Take Rika. But somehow I managed to get out of there. Going back into the overworld. Days 50 to 60. We went back wow. home. Then headed back to Gojo. To find out that the high school we fought Mahito in. Was blown up just like my base. This cursed team was so explosive. I explore. Mine some coal. And even find a shrine there. And with that we managed to make it back to JJK High. Funny enough our next quest was to kill Yuta and Megumi. For betraying the sorcerer's team. I don't think this is canon in the show. Day 60 to 70. Before anything we try to find where the curses team has been hiding so it led us to back where we saw them before the abandoned city and we were right noski was posted up there probably waiting for his teammates but he ended up noticing us and started to jump us oh. yo he found us he found us he found us Raspi, use yours Why is there Jogo here? Oh, we're cooked. Oh. We're so cooked. Alright, alright, Noski. You wanna play dirty like that, Noski? Who can play at that? Power it up. Me away. Okay. 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 Alive. What is that thing? Just run. Just run. Just run. You gotta help Raspi. No, what do you think? Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. We cannot fight that. We can't. We can't fight that. Run. Run. in the water. As we were mid-fight and ready to flee, Noski requested to have a talk with us. Confused as to what he wanted, he approached us without doing too much harm. But it all was a setup to entrap us in the prison realm. We were stuck in a whole nother dimension. It was official. We were in over our heads. There were more S-tier curses here than we've ever seen in the overworld. We explored this desolate place for a bit. Even ended up finding two Sukunas. We, we attempted fighting them. It was no use. And I ended up meeting back up with Razmi. 
how her only hope was Gina. She was still alive up there. And after a few days time, she finally managed to get us out of the prison realm. I would have talked about more, but there really wasn't a lot that happened in the prison realm. We escaped the prison realm. Assuming Gina was fighting Noski off right now, we fled away so that her efforts weren't for nothing. This led us back home since it was far away and safe. That's when we found a note. It contains a virus, a zip bomb, and every variation of cancer it is. If you open this book, your death will be impending soon. The only way to cure it is to say in front of Big Brain. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what it is. Am I gonna die? <laughs> yeah, we all read it. We have we all have to I'm say that. I'm supposed to say ooh 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 ooh. I can do that. <laughs> You can say it for the collective in front of them. I'm pretty sure that was targeted for me. <laughs> but honestly, I live think, another day. I think the best option is to just burn the book. Damn. So there you go. A 70 to 80. To fully finish the quest given by Gojo, we had to kill off Megami and Maharaga. We found him and began fighting Megami off. Right, that was just a really explosive bird. God. Oh my. Did you yeah, get him? I killed him. Damn. I think so. Okay, quest done. Maybe I am strong after all. Check the area really quick though, just in case. Okay. Wait. Hey, James, was my is my bird strong now or no? I. Is it like getting stronger? I don't think so. Wait, what did you eat? Is it food his finger? And you lived? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? During this fight, Tame ended up eating a Sukuna finger, and he lived after doing so- I can't even make this up. How, how'd that even happen? I don't understand. But Tame somehow had the powers of Sukuna without dying. And Mei Mei? Mei Kuna? I, I don't really know. Regardless, we killed both of them off. Phase 80 to 95. I ended up extending this because it was a lot that happened here. We ended up- we headed back to our base. On the way there, we found another finger spot. But the finger was taken from it. It did have a wither skull though. This could help us beat another boss. After some time passed, we found a crypt. As we thought it was a stronghold, but it was just the underground portion of it. We also got two wither skulls from this structure. After throwing more eye vendors, we at last found the stronghold as we entered. Found the portal room and lit it up. We all entered, reaching the middle, realizing that this place too had curses in it. Even though we were confident, we began to take out the crystals. Me and Rasby came up with a strategy to domain expansion the ender dragon this was brilliant then she had one too called the limited void we managed to trap him in the domain expansion but it kind of trapped us too making us unable to use our abilities against it we decided to hold off on it in the middle of the dragon fight we got jumped by hien era Kuna. what is our luck got thrown off the edge by him but managed to clutch it this was pure chaos there was even domain expansions everywhere here and if things couldn't get any worse noski managed to make it to the end during this, I decide to spawn the Wither. We killed it off pretty easily. But that's when we heard the Malevolent Shrine. We barely even managed to survive it. The Ender Dragon was killed off. And then our next hunt was for the Ender Dragon Egg. That was our new priority. And while Noski was trying to grab the Dragon Egg, he fell into the void. He fell into the portal, sending him back to the overworld, giving us a chance to grab the egg. But before we knew it, he was back. And he ended up cleaving the Ender Dragon Egg from our grubby little hand. And with that, the fight began between us. But I knew that I didn't need to do this fight yet. I only wanted the elytra from here. Then I was gone. Phase 95 to 100. But with the time that I had left, I headed up to enter the end islands, where we soon discovered an end city. I used my abilities to get myself on top of the ship, grab the elytra, and look back at the end city that we were at. A lot of the original players that played this JJK SMP that I didn't even get to see much of ended up dying really early. So it was merely a fight between a handful of sorcerers and Noski. And he here, Noski was at the end city, facing us with bloodshot eyes. But that's when me and Bream came up with the master plan. Can you give me my hand? If he's gonna... oh. Okay. Um, what the sick rat? Okay. I don't know. There's a dragon egg, he's taunting us. Oh. He's just stuck in there? Know. My boogie. 
Actually, yeah, bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, bro. I told you, my boogie woogie technique never fails. Enjoy your prison realm, Noski. Dream has the clap to switch places ability. So he flew down to Noski while above the void. Switch places with him and threw Noski into the endless void. Normally, in Minecraft, if you enter the void, you die. But Noski is the strongest cursed user on the server. Not only does he have a crazy amount of health, he has a crazy amount of regeneration as well. And due to th due to him munching on Sukuna fingers, basically immortal unless killed by some cursed energy moves. But it did give us the time to cruise back to the portal with ease and return to the overworld. World. A few days pass, and honestly, we kind of thought that Noski was gone. We're not sure how low he was, but it did hit day 100. Since the SMP was coming to a close, all still alive players were teleported to Shibuya for a death match. That includes Noski. Hence why it was more of a distraction we pulled off in the end more than anything. The sorcerer team groups up. Realizing Gina died to Noski, we couldn't let him get away with this. We had to take our revenge. It wasn't only Noski that could eat Sukuna fingers. So could Tame. So we gathered all the fingers that we had picked up and let him eat them. Tame ended up giving Raspi a finger, which killed her off. Why? Just like our last Gojo, she ended up eating a finger and died we couldn't let this get to us though because it was the final fight we climbed on top of a building and as sukuna blew the city up like it was flattening pancakes we still had the prison realm which i gave to bream who was going to entrap noski once and for all so we leaped down into the mess and tried our best but there was a clash of malevolent shrines turns out tame could use it too why did i teleport to you screwed this is it no! And he used it so well that he ended up killing me in the process. The curse is one. Aim betrayed us. He was working with Noski this entire time. That's how Noski kept on finding us every single place we went to. If you want more anime 100 day SMPs just like this one, let me know in the comments below. This was a lot of fun. Peace.